The title of my paper today is A Tribute to My Brothers. Nine years ago, I made my first pilgrimage back to Omaha Beach. It was a peaceful morning in the early fall. The sea was calm and the skies blue. A few people walked along the seashore. But in my mind, a radically different scene unfolded. A beach littered with dead and wounded men, large iron obstacles, <laughs> and an armada of gray boats on stormy waves. Black smoke and the smell of nitrate filled the air. Ear splitting explosions, screaming or yelling, <coughs> yelling men everywhere. I confronted a past I had tried to forget, but never <coughs> really did. On D-Day 1944, I was a 19-year-old platoon medic attached to Fox Company, 2nd Battalion, 16th Infantry Regiment, 1st Infantry Division. The Big Red One. It was my first day in combat and I was in the first wave, of <coughs> first wave of assault. Landing at dawn, we waded through a sea reddening with the blood of the wounded and dying comrades. I came ashore just east of a stretch designated Fox Green, not far from a German complex guarding the draw to Colville. Mortars, bombs, and any machine gunners entrenched at Widerstandsnest 62 mowed down hundreds of young Americans that morning. Our regiment suffered nearly 1,000 casualties, including hundreds killed in my own company. Almost half of the soldiers and seven out of nine officers were already wounded or dead by noon. About 3,000 young Americans, Canadians, Brits, Poles lost their lives, and another 6,000 in just one day. <coughs> Words nor pictures can convey the actual experience. When asked to share my story, I agreed <coughs> as I want to foster a great, greater public awareness on both sides of the ocean that thousands of warriors from a few hundred American and Canadian Indian tribal reservations also participated in the liberation of enemy-occupied Europe. As one of the last survivors, I want to keep the memory alive of bring brave young medics like Morosevich and American Indians like Neptune. In the quiet of the morning of my first return to Normandy in 2007, I found the stretch where we had come ashore and performed a simple Indian <coughs> ceremony with a sacred eagle feather, burning tobacco, sage, and sweet grass. Ordering my comrades, I sent my prayers into the four directions, earth and sky. Today I honor them in public at the war cemetery before I myself will join them in the spirit world.